Well, thank you very much. Uh, my name is Amy Schatz, and I am a senior editor for Recode here in Washington. On behalf of all of my colleagues, I would like to thank the National Press Foundation for this honor. Uh, my bosses, Walt Mossberg and Kara Swisher, wish they could be here. Unfortunately, they're moderating a Recode media conference in LA tonight, and they couldn't make it. It's one of six conferences that Recode will be hosting this year around the country, and they're pretty important for our company in this brave new digital world because they really help us pay the bills. Um, it's really only been a year since the RICO team, which used to be known as All Things D, broke away from the Wall Street Journal to form our own news organization. We publish tech news stories, analysis, and reviews seven days a week from bureaus in New York, Washington, LA, and San Francisco. Aside from breaking tech news, we spend a lot of time on features and long-form journalism. That might seem like a little bit weird since we publish online instead of on dead trees, um, but we found that they're actually among the most popular um, stories on our site. Last year, we published several week-long series on innovative US series, um, cities, including Boston and Las Vegas, and are planning to do more this year. Among our feature stories was a memorable look at the cuddle puddles of Burning Man and how one Las Vegas house of ill repute became the unofficial brothel of CES. We couldn't do this alone, and we wanted to offer special thanks to our friends at CNBC and NBC News for all of their help this year. NBC is a minority investor in Recode, and the folks there have been generous in uh, helping a bunch of former print reporters learn how to um, stop embarrassing ourselves on live TV. Sadly, I think some of us are learning that a little faster than others, but we're all working on it. Um, the entire Recode team is thrilled that our work last year caught the attention of the National Press Foundation, and we thank you again for this tremendous honor.